Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jamal. I'm super excited for this one because I get to bring the best of both of my worlds into one. I have such a passion and a huge love for relationships. And that's where we started in our first business, The One University, helping singles to prepare for marriage. And now working with thousands of entrepreneurs, helping people to grow and scale their online businesses, and now being able to bring those worlds together to help you, whether you are a single entrepreneur or you are a married couple entrepreneur, and you are going through the trenches right now with how do we succeed as an entrepreneurial marriage? That's what we call it. And I can tell you right now, you've come to the right spot because married now going on a decade, running a business now going on a decade, I have seen and experienced it all. And I will definitely tell you, choosing the right spouse is absolutely critical. One of the most successful people on this planet by the name of Warren Buffett says this, the one decision that will impact your ability to be successful more than any other decision is who you choose to marry. And it's even cool because going from Warren Buffett now to the Word of God, we find in Genesis 2.18, the Bible saying that it is not good for man to be alone. What was so interesting, the timing when God said that is at the point that he gave Adam his purpose here on the earth, which was to take dominion on the earth. And at the moment that Adam received his purpose, God then says, it's not good for man to be alone, which shows you, my friend, if you believe that there's something big on your life, something that God has called you to do, you should and desire. It is a good thing to desire someone to come alongside with you and be able to change the world with it. I I will definitely tell you, for me personally, being married now over a decade, that my wife has been one of the most critical persons that helped me to grow from food stamps to seven figures. She was with me when I was broke and she's with me today. There's no greater joy um, than what we've been able to build together. But I do want to tell you, this thing is not easy because I'm sure you agree that marriage isn't easy and I'm sure you know that entrepreneurship isn't easy. So now trying to bring those two worlds together, what we call an entrepreneurial marriage, my friend, you are up for a challenge. But I can tell you right now, anything that is challenging in this life changes you. Anything that changes you makes you better. And the better you are, the more money you can make. I promise you, I've seen it in my own life. Marriage has made me better. But we're seeing something that really does grieve me in this game. And that is entrepreneurial couples who build something together that is grand, that is big. We saw it right now. We see it with Bill Gates. We saw it with Jeff Bezos. They built some of the biggest, most successful companies. And it's just recently that both of these um, amazing entrepreneurs, amazing couples just announced that they're separating. They're getting a divorce. Now, I know this is old news, but I'm just bringing it here for just the, the reality that you can build a business together but not be building a life together. That's the goal. The goal is that you are building a life together. So when your business is built, you're not wanting to leave or don't know how to operate together. So I wanna work through two things that I believe are the most critical decisions you have to make in choosing the right spouse as an entrepreneur. So let's work through that very quickly. The first decision you have to make in the process of choosing your spouse. Now, even if you are already married, this is something that you and your significant other can have a conversation about that I believe is absolutely important that you guys are on the same page as it pertains to expectation because this is where most couples go crazy is that there isn't clear expectations of how one another should be operating in an entrepreneurial marriage. The first question you must ask whether you are choosing a spouse or whether you are married, does your spouse desire to be a player or a partner? So let's imagine that you are entrepreneur, I call it the game, right? It's a game that you're playing every day. And as a player in the game, you are waking up having to choose to do the things necessary to get to whether you were playing football, the touchdown, the end zone, right? And as a player, you must make a decision. Do I want my spouse to, if I'm the quarterback, understand the game, like they are my wide receiver and we are working together to get to the end zone. They, they are in the trenches with me. They are staying up late with me. They're doing all the things necessary for us to be successful together. When me and my wife first started our business, she was a player. This is before we had kids. She was doing all the videos with me. She was out front with me, creating content with me. She was a player. But then as our business grew, we saw her role had to evolve. 
And she went from being a player to becoming a partner. And a partner is someone that's on the sidelines. They may not be directly playing the game, but they are influencing the decisions. They are encouraging you. They are doing the things necessary to ensure you have everything you need as the entrepreneur to be able to be successful. You need to sit down and ask your significant other, what role do you want to play in the game of entrepreneurship so that we are expecting the right things out of one another? This is very key that you have this conversation. Is my, my spouse a player or are they partners? And yes, you may say, well, Jamal, isn't that kind of the same thing? It can be in some instances, but you may have your spouse that desires to not play the game and do what you do. They just want to be a partner. But you may have a spouse that desires to play and like, yo, I want to be in. I want to rock with you. We end up learning that my wife, right, whenever she stepped out as a player, she was no longer in the day to day with me, that she missed it. And she's like, babe, I know we've had our kids. I want to get back in the game. And we had that conversation and it changed everything because she was missing being involved at the level that she used to be. It's helped our marriage so much, y'all, because it's so important that you are building a life together, that the business is not something you serve. The business is something that serves you. That's important. The second thing you must do in this journey of building a successful entrepreneurial marriage and choosing the right spouse is you must align with life values. What does this person desire to have for their family? How do they desire to manage their money? How do they desire to manage the business? How do they foresee success? How do they ensure that they are moving closer towards their ideals about life? One of the clear places you must ensure that you ask is what is their ideals regarding faith? What is their ideas regarding how you guys will operate as a family unit? The biggest encouragement I can give you is that when it comes to your life values, as an entrepreneur, you understand this because your business more than likely has core values. Well, what are the core values for your family? What are your core values for your life? What are your spouse's core values? I will sit down and have this conversation because this is going to help ensure that you're creating the right culture around you and your significant other, that you guys are creating a life that is ideal for the both of you. Whether the business blows up and becomes a multi-million dollar enterprise, or it's just generating five, ten thousand dollars a month, you want to ensure that you're building something that you both are proud of. This is important. So I pray that this helps a lot for you to go and ensure that you are choosing the right spouse or if you're married, that you guys are working together to really identify your expectations and to identify the values that are going to drive your life and know the same way you're building your business, my friend, you should use those same skills to build your family. Hey, I hope this one helped you and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.